שירלי בריל, Welcome to Culture Buzz. We are on an Israeli tour that uh, this time took you to Kfar Saba in Jerusalem. We are sitting uh, this evening in Henry Crown Concert Hall after another successful concert that you have uh, given to the Israeli audience. And I would like to ask you, Shirley, if I may, how is it for an accomplished Israeli clarinet musician uh, to make it abroad? How has it been for you? Um, well, it's not easy, but it's not easy for, for everybody. Um, I came I came to, to Europe, to Germany, to study in 2000 and uh, slowly, slowly I um, made some connections and performed with my teacher, with Sabine Meyer, and um, played for agencies and slowly, slowly I built myself until what I am today. And from what I understand, you are touring extensively and in addition for being uh, a marvelous clarinet uh, player, if I may say so myself, after having the pleasure of listening to you, you are together with uh, Jonathan Anel, right. uh, both a musical partner and partner for life, doing very well as the Brillaner uh, clarinet uh, piano duo, but also other uh, chamber ensembles. Can you tell us a bit more about this? Right. So, first of all, as you said, uh, we're playing as a duo already since uh, 1999. And since then we're traveling all over the world, in Europe and in, in the States, in the Carnegie Hall and in Australia and of course in Israel. And from time to time we add the Brillano duo plus one or two or three. And uh, sometimes it's with the cellist, or sometimes it's with the violist. Or, for example, next year we are going to perform in 2013 in Israel. We will have um, a tour, uh, the Brilana duo, together with the Carmel String Quartet. And we'll perform in Tel Aviv, and Haifa, and Jerusalem, and so and so and so. Um, so it's we always try to add people or or to play just the two of us. Sounds uh, wonderful and good luck. Thank you. I understand too that in addition to being so busy with playing music, uh, both you and Jonathan have become teachers now in Berlin. Right. How is this experience? It's wonderful. Um, first of all, Jonathan is a professor at the Hans Eisler in Berlin for chamber music and he started already last year and he's enjoying it a, a, a lot and uh, at the moment he's uh, rehearsing uh, heavily with his uh, students for the end of the semester uh, concerts. And I started this semester just a few months ago with uh, also uh, for chamber music with uh, together with Jonathan and with students for viola and we are going through all this uh, trio repertoire which is a wonderful wonderful repertoire and um, and I learned from it a lot and I, I enjoy it very well. Uh, and I'm sure that uh, both uh, your students and uh, Jonathan's are very fortunate to have you. Shirley, if I may ask, you were born and you grew up in Israel, actually in Petah Tikva, which is a very special uh, city. When you look at your career, when you look at the way you perform music, on the biggest stages all over the world. Can you uh, say something about the Israeli uh, ingredient that you bring to these concerts of yours? What is, what makes you, uh, compared to other clarinet players, special because of your Israeli roots? I think because Israel is um, 
is a combination of so many traditions and so many uh, cultures from everywhere. We are, as an Israeli musician, we are very, uh, very open-minded and um, and open for for different styles and, and and to try things. And maybe that's why many Israelis are are succeeding because they're very open for different cultures and, and traditions and for me I'm when I'm playing in concerts I'm really trying to get into the music and, and forget about everything else that uh, I've learned even so far and just enjoy the music and uh, and really not not to be afraid of showing my feelings just to say what I want to say uh, in music and, and also the communication with the people that I'm playing with on stage is very important for me and uh, it makes the whole piece one and also tonight that I, I played the, the concerto uh, even that that I'm the soloist uh, it was always important for me to look at the first violinist or the first cellist to, to be in contact to um, just to feel like it's we're still making like a chamber music and, uh, and not to be one very f in front. Just um, we all belong to the same one piece. Shirley Brill, spoken like a, a true musician, which you are, and I want to wish you all the best in your career and uh, come back to Israel as soon as you can. Thank you very much. Thank you.